Hello guys, welcome back to my Ratchet and Clank 3 up in Russell Let's Play. In the last episode, the Starship Phoenix is under attack by Dr. Nefarious' goons. And this episode now, we're on Planet Koros, where we're going to take out that bio-obliterator which is planned to attack Planet Felden. Not on Ratchet's watch. Chairman Drek learned the hard way when he tried to attack Felden, and Dr. Nefarious is going to learn the same way. Also, let's take these guys out here real quick. Yeah, before... Actually, yeah, where's my... Oh, there it is. Come on, blow up. I'll take them out very close. I want to show you guys a really awesome frame rate dip. I'm not going to lie, it's actually quite a cool frame rate dip. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. Right, let's get the Nitro Raptor and... Boom. Look, look how it slows down a bit, doesn't it? I actually found that really satisfying. Yeah, that's also present on the PS Vita and the PS3... PS Vita and the PS2 versions of the game as well. If you use the Nitro Raptor or if you take out every single chair and table over there. Even on the PS2 version, the frame rate would lag a bit as well when you do that. Which I actually found quite satisfying to be honest, I'm not going to lie. There's nothing over there, so we're not going to head over there. And over here we've got a new enemy we have to take out. My display gun is so close to V5. I'm going to need that for the final boss. Come on. These things are quite tough enemies as well. Depending on the weapon you use, they're not going to be that powerful. Ooh, display gun is upgraded to the multi-disc gun. Disc gun, rapid fires homing discs that ricochet with each hit. The new discs will continue to ricochet, creating up to 16 discs per shot. Wow, nice. I'm lost. Okay, I need to get the annihilator upgrade now. We're on V3 with this weapon. I don't think, oh, maybe I can get it from here. It's actually so satisfying using Ratchet's Ranger Pack, you can literally just destroy everything on this planet like that. You can, there are loads of things the wrench can destroy on this planet. Yeah, that's why I love upgrading the wrench in Ratchet Clank 2 and 3, just smashing everything. Doing that is so satisfying to do all the bolts Ratchet gets in the process. Oh, it's really is satisfying. Also, this this morning, just after I got out of bed, I watched um, some Last of Us gameplay. Last of Us Part 2, which was on social media platforms. I saw a few on the Facebook Last of Us page, there was um, some gameplay showing Last of Us Part 2 and all. Yeah, that's got me even more hyped to play a game. It plays a bit similar to the first Last of Us game. I thought it was going to be a bit... Honestly, when I saw the trailer, I thought it was going to be a bit open world and that, but... Nah. Honestly, I'm quite glad it's not open world, because I don't think the open world would suit The Last of Us that much, in my opinion. Because it kind of felt... When I saw Ellie on the horses now riding around, I thought it was going to take a bit of a Red Dead Redemption approach. I don't know why I thought that, but... Yeah, I don't, when I saw the gameplay, that's not necessarily going to be... That's not what's going to happen. I knew, I, I was pretty sure, think, I was thinking, are they actually going to make it open world? But I don't think they are. I hope they don't, because honestly, I don't really want The Last of Us to be open world, to be honest. No, I'd rather it wasn't. I'd prefer it if, it if it was the same layout as it was in the first game, going from place to place. Like that, that's how I prefer it. Yeah, I loved The Last of Us on, P on PS4, the remastered, and I've got... Last of Us and on PS3 and PS4. I brought it on PS3 because, as well, because I thought Last of Us takes up about 50 gigabyte on my PS4, and I'd always have to install it, and that's to keep playing the game. So I thought, why not? Oh, trophy! I got the Courtney Gears trophy. No. Yeah, so I've got Last of Us. I brought Last of Us on PS3 as well, so I can play it whenever, pretty much. Okay, let's get rid of all the stuff around here. Let's get rid of these guys. I need some more Annihilator ammo, so I really want to get... Oh, PDA. I forgot I had this. I got this in the last episode. There you go. Now I've got some more Annihilator ammo. That is going to be really handy against Dr. Nefarious, because he's actually a power... He, we've got a powerful boss battle coming up. Not in this episode, but in the next episode when we're going to take out Dr. Fred. The next episode, guys, is going to be the finale when we take out Dr. Nefarious. Let's get, let's get away from that guy. V4. Nice. Once this weapon's upgraded V5, I'm all set. Oh, you're kidding. I died. Right, I'm going to cut ahead to where I was. Okay, we're back here at last. I need, I've upgraded my Annihilator a little bit, got the bar filled up a bit more. Let's go get the PDA out and let's get some more ammo. And let's get this Annihilator upgraded. Actually, while there's small enemies here, let's get my 
quack around, turn these into ducks, and get this to V2 or something. This weapon's it's actually quite... I do like this this weapon, not great enemies to ducks. Turning enemies into ducks is pretty funny. I don't use this weapon that much, but honestly I do like this weapon. I'm going to take that guy out first before I use, if I turn any more enemies into ducks. Come on, blow up, blow up, blow up, nice. You fucking kidding me! Okay, we're back here again. Let's just hope I don't die again. Let's, I'm just going to upgrade my weapon a bit. Let's take that guy out first before he kills me, because that's what killed me last time. Get rid of this guy quickly. There we go, now he's gone. Okay, let's get the Quack Ray back out and upgrade this a bit, because I actually quite like this weapon. We're not going to use it against Nefarious, because this weapon is a bit pointless against Nefarious, but we'll upgrade it a bit anyway, because... Come on, what? Who doesn't love turning their enemies into ducks? Quack, quack. Okay, Neil Mo's there. Come on, now it's your turn. Yes! Quack Ray V2, and I'm really low on nanotech. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to have to use... Let's get the P... No, I'm going to... Get some glove turret back out. Oh, he, he's over there. Oh, I see where he is now. Oh, got some more nanotech. Nice. If I head up here, I think there's something up here. Let's go see what's up here. What's up? I know there's something up here. Oh, a bolt. Let's destroy the windows and head out the quick way. I think that's all the enemies gone around here, I think. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let's head through here. I think we have a continue point here. Yes, we do. Nice, just what I needed. I need that continue point because I did die quite a few times back there. I was trying to get the quack away upgrade too much because it's on V1. That's why I died so much. Okay, let's... I'm not going to upgrade that anymore now, but I think... Actually, tell you what, while we're here... Uh, what weapon did I want? No, uh... Oh, I ain't, got I ain't got enough bolts for it. Oh, well. The Rift. I like that weapon. It's a bit weak when you first get it, but... It's actually quite a nice weapon. I like it. Can I destroy anything else around here with my wrench? How handy. Okay, if we head up here, I think if I get on top of here, I can... No, nope, perhaps I can't get on top of there. Oh. I go this way. Of course I do. What's I thinking? Uh, Right, I've got more Annihilator. I need this to get this a V5 quickly before the last planet we get to explore in the game. The last planet is Velden. I think you guys would expect the last planet we're going to explore in this game is Velden, where Dr. Nefarious is going to be, and we're going to whoop his ass when we get to that planet. Uh, oh, let's use the Quack Ray here. Why not? That's what, that's why I told that. Quack, 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 quack. Who would have thought turning, you could turn robots into ducks? How awesome. This is why Ratchet and Clank are such addicting games to wep all the weapons you can use in the game. Okay, got multiplier and oh, oh BDA. Oh, what I need to get? I seriously need to get the annihilator upgraded. Right, let's go. Hopefully, these once I get rid of these guys, I think it might be, might get this upgraded. I hope. Yes. Perfect. The decimator. I'm not going to use a quack ray, that'll be a bit pointless here. I'm going to need... Ooh, spitting hydra. This is nearly upgraded too. I hope I don't get shot here. I've got full nanotech at 92, so... Hopefully I shouldn't... Nah, I shouldn't do. Jesus, these things are tough. I need this upgraded. There we go. That was honestly a waste of time doing it like that, but at least I guess these guys come on and die. Jesus, these things are tough. Unless I'm just using the wrong weapon, fine, I'll take you out the quick way. Boom. There we go. Oh, dead. Here we go, okay, let's head through here. We've got more soldiers. All right, then. Quack array, come in. Oh. There's another one gone. Can I, can I kill this thing with my quack array? See, well, I'm not going to bother. That is just a stupid move. Infernal power, bitch! He's gone. Let's head through and kill all these guys while I've got my infernal power. Oh, this came at the right time, too, with so much coming. I must get rid of that big robot. What? Cha! And he's gone. Okay, I think that's... 
No, it's not all of them dead. Let's get the quack ray on that guy. He's, wait, he's too far up. Right. Okay, then I'll just use a multi-disc gun on him then. And more of them are turned up behind me. Are you serious? Okay, let's head in here and destroy that fight obliterator. After all those hollow films, there is one thing you should know by now. Do not mess with Agent Clank. Incoming call from the Phoenix. Nice shooting, Clank. There's no telling how many lives you just saved. But we're not done yet. Huh? Al just finished decoding the data disk. Nefarious secretly constructed a second bio-obliterator. A new model even more dangerous than the one you just destroyed. Where is it? Nefarious has a master control center on planet Mylon. We believe the last bio-obliterator is there now, guarded by an entire robot army. Then we'd better get moving. Be careful, guys. This time, they know you're coming. Planet Mylon. Oh, so we're not heading to Velden then. I swear this whole time we were on Planet Velden. What the hell was I thinking? Okay, everything around here is destroyed, of course, because I obliterated everything around here with just my wrench. Oh, can I destroy this, though? Let's refill all my ammo before we go to Planet Mylon. Why? I think Planet Mel Mylon was Planet Velden. It's very similar to Planet to Velden, actually, I will admit. Planet Mylon and Velden are actually very similar worlds. Okay, I've got all my bolts, and let's head to Mylon. Head battle your way to the launch site. I'll bet you miss your old shield charger, huh? Lucky for you, I just picked one up. Come see me if you're interested. Now nah, pass. Thanks, though, Slim Card Needle. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the videos. That helped me out so much. And in the next episode, we're going to head around Planet Mylon and find Dr. Nefarious. This world is similar to Velden, isn't it? It reminds me of Velden from the first Ratchet Clank game the last planet we got to explore in the game when it was all dark now that's what this reminds me of dr ferris learned that you should never mess with agent clank and he's soon gonna learn not to mess with ratchet okay dr ferris i'm coming for you i'll see you guys then okay guys thank you so much for watching this is goldiex and i'm out